Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and this is five full-size user knives. Now, when I say full size, I mean knives with a 3.5 inch blade. And when I say user, I mean knives that are fairly affordable. They're affordable knives, but they're incredible knives for working, for using just, you know, tough built knives that you can rely on that are in a good price range to where you don't mind you know, using them pretty tough, you know, and pretty hard on things and taking to work, working with them in construction and things like that. Now, this one is an honorable mention, but this is the Sen Cut Actium. I think this is an incredible, incredible user. It is very thin behind the edge, so it's going to be very slicey. Um, it has a deep hollow ground blade, beautiful finger choil. You can get up nice and close to the blade and it is in D2 steel. We have a G10 scale with T8 all the way around, reversible deep carry pocket clip. And the action is amazing on this thing. The thumb stud action is so, so good. The thumb studs are well placed and the detent is very well tuned. The flipping action is really good. Very comfortable in the hand. And it has a blade shape that's really good for just about everything. Utility cut, you can do nice good slicing very close to the blade push cuts very very awesome all the way around and it's extremely affordable next or number five i guess now these are in no particular order by the way we have something very similar to the civivi brazen and this is the drop point version now this also comes in a tanto version now a little bit more robust than the actium but still very very slicey now another thing is that this is 14c28n not only is it 14c28n but it's civivi's 14c28n and in my opinion they're doing the best job with it. They are doing an incredible job with their 14C28N. And I'm always excited when I see it on one of their knives. So incredible steel, very easy to sharpen. The edge is, uh, it's, you know, it has good edge retention and it gets incredibly sharp. Very comfortable in the hand. Liner lock is very easy to get to. Nice and smooth with, with its ceramic caged bearings in the pivot. So very, very smooth on the drop. Fantastic flipping action. The thumb studs are very, very well tuned as well. So you've got lots of different options for deployment. And then it has an internal stop pin. So nice, strong lockup, very, very solid. Reversible deep carry pocket clip, T8s all the way around. And all these knives on this list come in multiple different options, by the way. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is another Civivi, and this is the Civivi Riffle. The Civivi Riffle is a flat ground blade, very, very slicey, though, and is also in Civivi's 14C28N. So, incredible steel choice. Uh, Micarta handles with T8s all the way around, and we have a reversible deep carry pocket clip. The action is insane with this thing. If you like to spidey flick your knives, you will love this riffle. It is so, so good. Even the, the acoustics are really nice on it. Internal stop pins again. So nice and tough on the lockup. Very, very solid all the way around. Access to the lock bar is really good, and it has a flipper tab that's also very well tuned. I did try one of these that had a lighter detent. This one is very, very well tuned. So, um, you know, it's just that's what you get. Sometimes there's going to be some variables or some variations between each model. Although I've taught in many videos how to tune your detent. Very, very awesome, though, and also very affordable. Next on the list is the CJRB Scoria. <laughs> Comes in lots of different options. White Mountain Knives recently, I think it's White Mountain Knives, has their exclusives, which they have um, some really cool versions. Um, the regular one comes in G10 or Red Micarta. They're, they call it their Coral Micarta. But I think at the White Mountain Knives exclusives, you can get the stonewashed blade instead of the coated blade. And they have um, different options for handle materials. Now, this one is an ARRPM9C. 
steel. It's Artisan's proprietary uh, powdered steel. And the action is so good on the detent. Very, very well tuned. Thumb stud action. Very, very well tuned. The thumb studs are placed really nicely. And this is a very slim knife. That's another thing. Very, very slim. So the thumb studs are well placed. Very, very uh, good action. And it is titanium thumb studs, titanium pivot collar, and a titanium milled pocket clip. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more on the more expensive side. I think they're about 80 bucks or like 70, 70 bucks, I think is what it is. 70 or 80 bucks, one of the two. But man, it's such a good knife that uh, I almost picked up one of the exclusives because I like this one so much. And it's just got that blade shape that's really good for use. Very slim in the hand, like I said. So when you get it in this grip, I mean, it's nice and comfortable while not being palm filling. I normally like a palm filling knife because that usually adds to, um, you know, the leverage you can get down in your cuts. Although this one is not, this one is slightly contoured, but it's very slim. So it's still though, man, very, very comfortable in the hand, nice and slicey while still being slightly robust because of the way the geometry is done. It cuts very, very well. And it's just an incredible, incredible knife. I do have a full review on basically, I do have a full review on that. Next, we have the Concept Main Street. The Concept Main Street. Now, this one is in my card up, but they do have multiple different options. Like I said, all these knives have multiple different options. We do have a coated stone washed blade in 154 CM. This is a dark Pinkerton design and it does, it's only thumb studs on this one, but they do work very, very well. Now the, the ergos are extremely comfortable. I think this is so comfortable in the hand. You can barely feel, I don't even think I can feel the pocket clip to be honest, but it is a titanium milled pocket clip, not reversible though. Um, now it does have good access to the lock bar. So it's going to be very easy to, to get back in the pocket and the pocket clip works very, very well and out of the pocket. The blade is mostly a utility style blade, although you can get away with slicing and push cuts. It is a little bit more robust behind the edge, not extremely thin, but the way they did the geometry, it does cut fairly well. So it's going to be a great work knife for anybody who uses it. Basically. I mean, it is a, a solid, well-built knife. So let's get to the next one. The next one is, or the last but not least, the Kubi KU3 or 322? Yes, the 322. It's back in stock, ladies and gentlemen. Back in stock. I will link it down in the description. This knife is amazing. Amazing, amazing knife. One, it has a reversible deep carry clip. So lefties, you got um, your option here too. The action is insane. Kubi is just, they are, they're knocking it out of the park right now. Access to the lock bar, extremely, extremely good. Fall shut action especially after a couple days of using it and flipping it. The leverage you get in your flipper tab is just amazing. And it is D2, but it's really good. Like the, um, some people don't like D2, but Kubi does a pretty good job with it. And I, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I don't care. Now they will probably come out with other options. So um, probably OS 10 in the future. Uh, but very, very smooth. And the reverse flick is so good on it. The clip works okay. I do have one little problem with the clip, but it's not that big of a deal. But you do have to kind of, sometimes with thicker jeans, you have to kind of fight it um, to get over that little ramp. Although it's all you got to do is just, uh, you know, when you're putting it in your pocket, you just adjust and then slip it in. It's not that big of a deal. Although I do wish they would have countersunk it. T10 pivot, T8 hardware all the way around. So it is a very solid build. I mean, it is super tough in the hand very very comfortable it is tall or broad in this direction but 
it's man it fills the hand really really good and it's very comfortable to slice with nice and slicey it's not crazy thin behind the edge but it does have a nice tall grind so even though it's about 20 thousandths behind the edge it's very very slicey and it works incredibly well you can kind of you know mess with this little choke up spot but i usually just go right over the top of the flipper for my push cuts nice blade shape for work and yeah, just an incredible, incredible knife. I also have a full review on this knife that I actually recently posted. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.